Good morning. It's Monday. It rained. Saturday night, we had uh, three quarters of an inch of rain, and it's made it too wet. So I got a day off yesterday, which was very welcomed. Um, and it doesn't look like we're going to be planting today. In fact, I'm sure we're not going to be planting today. Potentially tomorrow, but we need some sunshine and some, some wind or something, and there's more chances of rain tomorrow. So we will see. Dad may get a little spraying done this afternoon on a couple of fields, so we'll help him get that going. I've got a few errands to run this morning, and uh, we'll be back around the farm this afternoon or later this morning. We've got a, uh, beans to treat. We've got to work on the planter a little bit, get some stuff tuned up, adjusted, fixed, calibrated, different, a few different things that, you know, you put off until you got time to do it. Well, now we have time to do it, so let's get to it. All right, just got back. We're down here to the seed warehouse. Uh, that pile of boxes is all empty, and so we need to clean those up, which means I think Brock's coming today. I'm not sure. I don't know when Brock's coming, actually. If he comes today, he can help me, but we'll flip all those down and, and uh, uh, break them down so that they're not uh, taking up so much space and we can stack them up and get them out of there. In my travels today, I stopped and picked up a couple of lids. Whoops, that may have um, blown off when Phil was hauling the seed tender down the road. Whoops! That'd be because I did not zip tie the lids down and Phil didn't catch it either, so. But we got them back, so that's no big deal there. Um, Dad and I yesterday made a trip to Rural King. We bought some DEF for the tractor. I've got that in there. We gotta go get that unloaded. We could haul some trash out of here. We've got some beans to treat. I think I got a truck coming this afternoon, so we're going to wait till this afternoon to treat beans. I'm done with that fan. We could turn it off, but I don't have a switch. we got to crawl up there and unplug it. We could use some help for that, too. That thing's been running nonstop since we put it up there a month ago. Yeah, we're done with it. So, uh, in uh, the catching up on stuff, now that we have time kind of category... Uh, I have this one chemical pump that I had been using on the boron shuttle, and it quit pumping. wasn't working worth a crap, and so I decided to take it apart and see what I could find out. Um, it's a diaphragm pump, and this side, well, there's some corrosion there, but the motor spins and that plate spins and seems okay. And then this piece is what that plate rubs on, and that I don't I don't know how it works, honestly, I don't. But there's a check valve inside this housing here, and there's our problem. Uh, this piece here was shoved down in there like that and was not sealing and that makes it impossible for it to pump. So I pulled it out and now it doesn't lay flat. So I'm debating whether I can take that apart further and take that screw out of the middle and flip it over so maybe it'll lay flat or smash it or something or if I need to replace that piece and I was looking up the parts breakdown of it here, right here. And they don't sell just that piece. You got to buy the whole bottom housing. So we, we, we may end up with that. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to take it apart a little farther. Huh. Well, that little piece pops right out of there. They cleaned it up. And we just got to get that memory out of it so that it lays flat. So I'm going to find something heavy. We're going to smash it for a while and see what it looks like this afternoon, I suppose. I could heat it. I wonder if the heat would work. Let's try that. Let's get the heat gun out. I'll probably melt it and make it worse. But it's worth a shot. Maybe we'll get it hot and then we'll smash it. Alright, well I got that seal, uh, or that, yeah, that, that rubber gasket smashing. <laughs> um, so there's our setup for there. Dad's getting ready to spray corn herbicides this afternoon, so we're getting stuff mixed up. There's our, our new pump, and we're just recirculating, pumping it back into the top, letting it mix these shuttles up so that they're good, because sometimes they settle out and you get a little uh, separation in them. It is turning into one of those days where I just don't get a lot done, I don't film a whole lot, and we don't accomplish much. But I had a uh, chemical salesman or yeah rep come and we went over some program stuff and signed up for some stuff and then he took us to lunch and now we're just getting back look nice and flat got it all smashed so i want to put this pump back together and then dad's going to get the sprayer out and we'll help him for a few minutes and 
we'll see what else we can find to do. I don't think I'm going to treat beans today. Doesn't look like I'm going to get there. All right. Well, it's all back together. I'm going to take it back out and just set that in in a bucket of water and we'll see if it'll pump. But I'm going to pump it into my tank there just because there's probably a bunch of boron in that hose yet that I don't really want to pump all over the floor. A bucket of water. I have to crawl up there so I can open my valve. Alright, open that. Alright, I wonder if we gotta prime it. Hey! I don't know if that's as fast as it's supposed to pump, but it's a whole lot faster than it was pumping. It's working, kind of. It's better, it's better. I'm gonna run a bunch of water through it, see if it flushes some of that sticky boron out. Maybe it'll work better. Here comes the sprayer. So it's not great, but it's faster than it was. I don't know, we'll keep using it. We may have to buy some parts and replace the pump part of that. Dad wanted to come look at some of the fields where we were going to, we need to spray. You can see they're still wet on top, but starting to dry out. Like there, it's dry. You can see how firm it is. It's not terrible. I bet he could spray this, or maybe, maybe not quite yet, but let's do a little digging. This is the first field of beans that was planted. What day did we plant this? Do you remember? Sunday. Sunday. A, little, a week and a day ago. This field was planting here when I went by with the field cultivator. And beans are all swelled up, but we don't have a shoot yet. Got a little time, eh? Yep, you got some time. So chemicals have to be on before the beans come up. Or before they put a first leaf on. <laughs> you sure. He's just starting to shoot out on that one. <laughs> before they come out of the ground. I don't know if there's dirt on top, but it's fine. Oh, well, you're, maybe you're okay. I don't know. We're going to look at one of the cornfields up there. All right, here's the cornfield. So this was the corn planted on day two, uh, cover crop field here. Yeah, Dad can spray this. This is firm. You can spray it, no problem. Oh, I know. I it's firm. Huh? It's firm. Here. You've already got tracks made. Exactly. Go right now, huh? There's a white grub. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble now. Eating our seed, that's why we put seed treatments on. Your seed treatment kill it? Uh, it should. The cruiser. Better get the rotary hoe out. Oh crusty. no, I just broke it off. Good thing we're getting some rain. It is not that crusty. <laughs> Well, there's our kernel. Had a good sprout on it. I broke it. Let me find another one. Let's see. Should be right over here. Well, I broke that one too, didn't I? I'm not very good at this with one hand. There you go. There. So the long one there is the root, and then we got just a little bit of a shoot starting to poke up here. Looks good to me. Planted too deep. No, I did not plant it too deep. <laughs> That's a week. Um, it's got a ways to come yet, and we're going to get some heat a week from now, So, but it'll, it's coming. All right, well, this um, stale seed bed, minimum tillage, whatever you want to call this stuff, uh, it's firmer and so dad can definitely get on it to spray it even though it is damp on top and wet It's not soft and gooey and soggy like the chiseled stuff would be um, And you can see how green it is. We've got to get this wheat killed. That's all volunteer wheat and it needs to die quickly. So That's the plan this afternoon spray wheat S Spray corn kill the wheat. That's what I meant Metal this year I've been kind of oh, Yeah there's a gas truck we lost. <laughs> this field looks drier yet. Other same situation, cover crops. This was planted Sunday, Saturday. I think this was Saturday. It was right Saturday, after that last Saturday field. Night. Yep, Saturday evening.
at all that soil structure we've got. Blocky. Not supposed to have that. Now, where to go? There it is. Got a three-quarter inch long, half inch, three-quarter inch long root coming off of it. I'm just starting to shoot the sprout up. A ways to go, but it's coming. All right, well, Dan's getting the fire spray, fire sprayered up, the sprayer fired up, and uh, gonna spray. We're gonna using Acuron and Atrazine and some glyphosate on that stuff. So, um, Acuron is our main corn herbicide. We spike a little added Atrazine in it, helps control the grasses, and then uh, the glyphosate is for the wheat that is already growing out there. Uh, the Acuron will take care of any of the broad leaves or anything else. So. Um, I do a lot of the spraying once we hit mid-June and the later summer stuff, fungicides and foliar feeds and that kind of stuff. Dad takes care of all the spraying in the spring, doing the herbicide applications on both corn and beans. And a lot of that is because I'm planting corn usually. And uh, he's that's, that's his, his job. That's what he does. So uh, anyway, we're gonna, he's good to go. Doesn't really need my help for anything. So I'm going to let him do it. Okay, Dad is off to go spray. We need to... Oh, we need to do a lot of things yet, but uh, I want to clean up. Like, those boxes are all empty, so we can close, clean those up. We've got some bags that we can burn there. Um, Brock's not here today, so it makes it hard to fold boxes and clean some of that stuff up. The other thing I would like to do at some point before we go back to the fields, especially before we go to Berkey, is to just check the track alignment on this tractor here. Um, I want to... I was watching some videos, and they were talking about how to do it, but basically you need to drive the tractor straight. Um... 50 feet to check toe in, we need to check that. Uh, 150 feet and then check the, the space between the bogies and the lugs there. Like there's quite a gap there. So this gap uh, in between here, that seems pretty wide because they tell me that you should be able to get a 3 16th inch wide spacer in there. What's the other side look like? Yeah. I can't tell. Not as wide, but I don't think it's tight. Hard to tell. Um, plus, we didn't really drive it straight, so it's not really a good spot to judge without doing it the correct way. Um, anyway, something that I would like to do. I think we might have to unhook the planter to do it, though. And so, um, we'll see. But there's also these squares here in the front and the back that are how you're supposed to check um, alignment. Measure from one side to the other and make sure that they are within a sixteenth of an inch of each other. Oh, so we should we should do that as well. Um, just make sure that that's why they're not getting hot. Um, John, one of you guys, John, was asking about how they feel and whether they're smooth or rough or what. This feels really smooth here. This is a little rough yet. These are getting smoother. Um, the guide lugs, uh, they're a little rough on the sides, but not, I mean, they're getting worn in, polished in. So I, I don't, I, I think our tracks are fine. They're just new and you wanna take care of them and make sure that we're doing stuff right. Yeah, this is a lot smoother on this side. So this, this track in particular, this front, left track is actually going to get replaced uh, it was damaged coming off the truck from the tr from the dealer at the dealership not when they unloaded it here but when they unloaded it at their place and we've got a chunk missing here and it's not a huge one or hurting anything really yet but because it happened in a brand new tractor before we got it uh, they're going to replace this one and so I'm not as worried about this track as the rest of them because this one's getting getting replaced anyway but we want to make sure that we're taking care of them and that everything is good and you know we're not damaging anything so that's what I'm trying to keep an eye on okay so here's another little thing that I found well I found somebody shared some videos with me that deer had put out about track maintenance or how to take care of them and stuff that 
Yeah, yeah, I should have went and found them myself, but I didn't. But anyway, uh, when you read the book, it just says to put talc on them when they're fresh and you're going on the road or long road trips, right? And so it doesn't say how or where or what. So I've just been kind of dumping it on here and down in this area and on the mid rollers and stuff, trying to get it on as best we can and then distributing it from there. Um, but they actually show in the video that they want you to dump dirt and stuff down in between them here because these have a little cup to them that actually will store some of that dirt and kind of help sprinkle it out as you're driving and stuff. But anyway, here's, look what I found. So see how this one's all shiny? Clearly rubbing on the inside of the, the guide lugs here, which I don't think is a problem, but you'd expect them to be even. So when I come around the other side, hmm, no paint worn off of that one. So that makes me wonder, do we have an alignment issue? I don't know, that's why we're gonna, we're gonna do some checks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna get to that, but for right now, I have these three bags of corn that I need to go drop off at a customer's place. So I'm gonna load them up in the back of the truck and go take them to them right now. All right, I got back, decided it was a trash hauling day, so we cleaned the empty bags out of the uh, seed warehouse and some other stuff. I picked up a rider. He sees Grandpa up there in the sprayer. Oh! Oh, what? We didn't lose anything. We're good, so we're gonna haul this back to the woods and we'll come up and say hi to Grandpa. All right. Grandpa is back with the sprayer, so we gotta go see him. Nobody. Well, why are we gonna keep it here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever? No, we're not gonna keep it here forever and ever. But it was here because Brayson was riding it. Well, so much for spending time with Dad. He's going for sprayer rides with Grandpa. All right. Well, while they do that, I'm gonna go mow lawn. Ah, oh, there goes another sprayer. We aren't the only ones out. Anyway, first lawn mow of the year for me, which I don't have a whole lot of lawn right now around the house, but there's enough on the roadside so it needs to get done. We're gonna do it. Lawn mowing's a good time to uh, listen to the podcasts. Look, they're back. Here. You want to eat dinner here? No, we got to go home. Oh, I want to eat dinner here, though. But we got to go home and see Brayson. I want to eat dinner here. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we can't eat dinner here. <laughs> hey, I can't see. All right. Uh, well, we're going home. So it was kind of a slow day. It looks like it's going to be this way all week. Um, we are going to get some beans treated. We've got some stuff to do. When Brock's around, he can help me out with a few things. And like I said, I want to look that tractor over a little bit more, just to make sure everything's in good shape. But uh, we worked really hard last week. We are way ahead of the game. We've got a lot done. And uh, if it rains this week and then we're out for a week, it's not the end of the world. So um, we are setting at a, just under two-thirds of our corn planted and uh, just over a third of the beans. So not quite half the beans yet, but more than half of the corn. And... Um, yeah, it's it's good. Things are good. We're in good shape. The stuff is sprouted. Which button should you press? The one be? dot. One dot. Can I now? Yep, push it. And uh, anyway, we're, we're. I'm really happy with things the way they're coming up and sprouted and growing. Why would the two dots? It doesn't do open. anything. And there is heat coming. Uh, a week from now, it's supposed to be in the 70s. All Does the next free dot so. open your seed house door? No, it opens the shop door. My goodness, you make this difficult. So have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hit, hit that subscribe button. Come back tomorrow. We'll see you. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it again. Ah.